Hi guys, okay, so I'm at Michael's and guess what I just walked into? You're not gonna believe this. Look at this. Like, what? Oh, I am in so much trouble and I not, didn't bring near enough money. <laughs> so, let's see what we got. Oh, well. First stop, you know it was the latte cake. So, let's go. Here we go. So, latte cakes are regular $11.99 here, which means they are $8. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And there's not a lot of them here, but I think they said there was a couple over on this side too. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, no, there isn't any. I'm gonna have to get. Oh, I don't know what to do, what to do. Should I get one of these? Whoa, okay, that one just fell off, so that's a sign. That's telling me I have to get it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be a good girl, and I'm only gonna get one. Look at the. I haven't gotten this huga fur yet and it um lisa from lisa's crochet put this on the scooty and i thought it was so adorable but i'm thinking hats and just using like a red heart or something with it and making a hat so these are 9.99 regular so they are 7.99 okay i'm gonna get that one and I have to get this one because this color is amazing. It's actually a little bit darker than it's showing up on camera. And then, oh, look at this lavender. Okay, we're gonna get that one. Oh, oh yeah, the, this is the stuff that I got before. Um, it's regular $7.99, $4.99. Oh, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk walk by it, walk by it. Yes. Okay. Look at this stuff, guys. This stuff is new, and it is so cool. I mean, look at look at this color. Like what? And it's regular eleven ninety nine, so it's eight seven ninety nine. But this color and this color. This color, it's not showing up on camera, but it's teal. And look at that. Oh, gorge. Absolute gorge. Oh, nope, I'm going to walk by it. See, look at that, guys. I'm being such a good girl. Here we go. Landscape. Landscape is regular $7.99, so it's on for $4.99. Okay, so this is like one of my fave... Like, so, <clears throat> I'm going to get that one. It's not a color that I normally would get, but you know what? It's a hat for hats, right? <laughs> Love this one. Um, hmm, okay. What else? Look at all the big cakes and everything. They're all on sale. <gasps> Is that? It is, it's that big York. That's the stuff that Cindy sent me. Oh, wow. It only comes in a couple colors. Huh. Oh. That's okay. I'm gonna keep going. All the baby stuff. Oh. I absolutely Love, love, love the unforgettable too. Oh, look at these colors. Like seriously, look at these colors. Oh, I have to be a good girl. Okay, so I got out of Michael's somewhat unscathed. <laughs> I only spent $75. That's unheard of for me. 
<laughs> so let's go home and I'll show you what I got. Hello, yarn bees. So <laughs> I have had quite a day. Yes, I have. Um, let me see. Uh, the first thing I woke up to this morning, which absolutely blew my mind. I'm in my usual place first thing in the morning in the bathtub and I'm looking at all of my stuff on my phone and this is what I woke up to. What? What? <laughs> Fiber Hearts subscribed to me today or maybe it was yesterday. I, anyways, they subscribed to me. What world are we in? Like, seriously? They know I exist? Yay! <laughs> so, hi! <laughs> Welcome to my crazy yarn family. <laughs> I was so thrilled. Like, oh, that just made my day. That really made my day. So, um, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it immensely. So, <laughs> and thank you to all of my other new subscribers as well. I've been getting like dribbles and drabs of new subscribers every day, one or two a day, which is just phenomenal. I just think it's great. Uh, so, thanks for joining me. <laughs> You're going to see that I'm, I'm wacky. I, I can be very wacky. <laughs> so, um, how was everybody's Halloween? Uh, we had all of six trick-or-treaters. The last little girl, she came, she came at like 8.30 at night. And I couldn't figure out why. I, was, I had my headphones on. Um... And I, I was like watching, I can't remember whose video I was watching, but anyway, um, I'm sitting there crocheting, watching my videos and there's, I couldn't figure out why the dogs were going ballistic, right? And I was just like, oh, come on. I just let you out to go to the bathroom. Like, what is the problem? But they ran to the door and, uh, I, uh, ah! Wasp, why aren't you guys dead yet? Go away. <laughs> huh? It's like November. You guys are supposed to be hibernating. What the hell? Ah, get away. I'll be right back. I got to take care of this. Like, right now. <laughs> okay, he disappeared. I can hear him. It, whatever. But I can't see it. So I'll keep this just in case. Anyway, okay, where were we? Let's like put this somewhere where I can get it. Like, hmm. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Subscribers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so thank you to the new subscribers. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I was asking about your Halloween and I was telling you a story about this little girl. So, 8.30 at night, this little girl shows up. Cute as a button, dressed as the girl in Frozen. Tiny little thing. She had to have been about four years old. So, I said, you know, I've had six kids tonight. So what do I do? I go into my bowl of candy and I put it in her bag and she had this little bag right like it wasn't a very big bag well I filled that sucker right to the brim <laughs> so, so you know and I still have a bunch of candy left over oh there you are go away <gasps> it's November it's getting cold why are they not hibernating they're acting weird this year 
they are really acting weird. Oh, anyways, this girl was cute as a button. I filled her bag to the brim and she still had trick or treating to do. So she probably had to, her mom probably had to stuff a bunch of stuff in her pockets. But anyways, so yeah, so that really sucked. Six kids. Now I still have bowl of candy that I'm going to go get this sucker. I'll be right back. <sighs> now I'm sweating. Like, really? Boy, that one was a struggle. Oh, okay. Anyway, moving on. Did you see Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet? Did you see her costume? Oh, my God. I'll tell you something. Don't be drinking anything when you're watching something that funny. I laughed so hard. I just, I, wow. Bravo, Laura. <laughs> I haven't laughed that hard in a, in a while. I could not believe what she was wearing. I'm going to leave that that link up here, wherever it is, on that little eye that you're going to see somewhere on whichever side. Go check it out. Hilarious. Hilarious. And then she goes to try and put a scarf on and forgets that she has the thing. On. Oh, jeez. I, I just died laughing. I just... <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, yeah, that was that was good. <laughs> um, I have a list of things that I wanted to talk to you about, but this stuff was from like a week ago, right? And I haven't had a chance to do like a vlog video. So uh, yeah, um, so this, this video is gonna be kind of a yarn holly vloggy stuff you know, you know whatever it's gonna be all kind of combined because yeah it's just well leading up to Halloween you know so and I get a phone call last night I'm all dolled up in my witch's outfit waiting for the kids and I get this phone call from this lady that I met at my last craft fair, fair, fair craft fair, <laughs> last craft fair, and she's doing a, um, it's called a wine walk, I think, and it's at the local mall, and she wanted crafters to have tables on this wine walk. So what you do is these people pay pretty nice chunk of money like 50 bucks a ticket or some damn thing and they get their glasses of wine and they get to walk all along the crafting tables with their glass of wine and they just get to cruise along and, and look at people's stuff and buy stuff brilliance unless they spill their wine on your stuff then it's not so brilliant but anyways um I, I remembered that I was supposed to do that, but I didn't know when it was. I couldn't remember. Well, guess what? It's next Thursday. I am so unprepared. <laughs> so now it's going to be the mad scramble. Um, I also found out that I have another craft fair at a school that I'm supposed to be doing in November. So I actually have more craft fairs to do than I thought I did. I thought I only had two more to do. I actually have four. So <clears throat> I'm going to be busy, busy for the next few weeks up until my surgery date, which is December 5th. Uh, <clears throat> and, and trying to get all these craft fairs done before then. Um, yeah, so, and George's birthday is in there. Just so you guys know, George's birthday is on November 12th, Remembrance Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it would be really nice 
if I'm not pressuring you I'm just saying it would be really nice if he could get a whole bunch of birthday cards from you guys as a surprise um, I think that would be really cool George just not had not oh wow oh god I need to be able to talk come on um George hasn't had a whole lot of luck with his birthdays in the last few years. Um, the one birthday, I think it was the first birthday or the second birthday that I did with him, I planned out the whole thing. We were supposed to meet at a restaurant. He played rugby um, at the time and also dragon boating. So I invited the rugby club and I invited the dragon boat team and I invited like all these other people that we thought were his friends and one showed up out of about 30. I couldn't believe it. I was so angry and disappointed and George never really recovered from that. Um, it took him a long time to get over that one. So, uh, of course, people were making excuses, saying, oh, well, we were going away, and yeah, la, 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 la. Like, yeah, right, whatever. <clears throat> so, the next year, um, I, we were on a new Dragon Boat team. And I called up that team and I said, look guys, this is what happened last year. I don't want to repeat of that year. And these guys came out in droves. I couldn't believe it. I booked a hotel down in Victoria. Uh, I booked the restaurant and I just prayed. I prayed that this was not going to be a repeat. And I'll tell you, every one of those 20 people showed up. I cried I cried and I know George almost cried too but of course he has to be the tough guy right <laughs> so um, it was a great birthday it was really a great birthday and uh, I just I I couldn't have been happier with the way it turned out the birthday after that we basically stayed at home I one of the non-yarny things about me. I am a masseuse. Yes, I am. Um, so I set up the massage table and it was just him and me and I gave him a nice massage and I cooked him dinner and all that kind of stuff, right? So that was really nice. This year, I don't know what I'm going to do because uh, I'm a little broke. <laughs> uh, I had some bills come up that I wasn't expecting and yeah. So anyways, um, he wants the massage thing all over again. <laughs> I was like, okay. So yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, so it would be really cool if he could get some, some birthday, pre uh, bir not birthday presents, not birthday presents, a birthday card. You know, I think that would be so sweet. And uh, so if you are game for that, uh, my my uh, P.O. box is down below. And uh, that would be great. So, okay. I was watching Charmed, Gra uh, Charmed Grammy's Crochet. Uh, la I think it was last week. <laughs> and she said something that just made me laugh. She was, she called it yarn dieting. Really? I'm thinking that is the cutest thing ever. Um, for all I know, it's been around for a long time and I just didn't know about it. That could be possible. <laughs> um, I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. I should go on a yarn diet. I can't do any diet let alone a yarn diet. No. <laughs> I, if, if 
I went on a yarn diet, I failed today because I went to Michael's. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that, that, that's a bust. <laughs> Rosalie at Yarn It Out. This poor girl. She's been so sick. And they don't know what's wrong. She's got this awful cough. And, yeah, poor thing. Um, my sister's had a cough for three months. And she can't seem to get rid of it. She goes on antibiotics. It t dies down a little bit. She goes off the antibiotics. It comes back in full force. And it's one of those types of cough where you have fits. And you start throwing up. Oh, just, ugh. I just can't even believe it. So go to, um, go on over to Rosalie's, go on over to Rosalie's uh, channel. I'll leave the link down below. I go give her some yarny love. Like, I just, I feel for you, honey. Oh, mwah. Like, big hugs, big hugs. As Sandy from Let's Just, let this just right. Wow, I am really having a hard time. <laughs> Oh, I should have had something to drink in here. As Sandy from Left is Right would say, big hug, big hug. I won't hug you so hard that you start coughing again, though. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link down below for... Um... Holy cow. Natalie. Natalie's closet. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Holy cow, that one hurt. Um, she did the video and she can explain this way better than I can because she understands the, the whole concept of this. But um, I had mentioned this before where a lot of people are not getting notifications for their videos uh, or for other people's videos. Um, they a lot of people are losing subscribers for some reason just like poof they're gone it's happened to me i lost six subscribers uh i gained them all back but you know it was just something random and i was like what is going on with youtube well natalie explains it all really well okay uh it basically it has to do with when you go into lives and or you go into um, videos that do out do shout outs um, and when they're in lives and they say subscribe to everybody's channel well if you go and subscribe to those people's channel and you don't watch the videos right away like within 24 hours or something YouTube has figured out what you, what's happening here and they are turfing people that don't watch the channel right away. You, you need to go, you need to, once you get out of the live or out of that other person's um, uh, video, you have to go to that person's video, uh, that person's channel that you subscribe to, and you have to watch a couple of videos from front to back, front to back, from start to finish. <laughs> and you need to say a comment or hit like or hit the notification bell and hit all uh otherwise i don't know if youtube is thinking it's a spam or what the heck's going on but they will basically i think they'll unsubscribe you or something and you won't get the notifications but anyways uh go check out her video she's explains it explains it way better than i do uh, yeah, so anyway, um, <laughs> um, Madonna's last video, was there her last video or the video before that? I'll leave a link for that too. Was hilarious. Hilarious. Oh my, I mean, she's funny anyways, but this one got me. Um, and then I said to her, I says, I've laughed so hard that I need depends you know, like, I damn near peed my pants. So anyways, um, I says, yeah, I need depends. And I said, depends on what? Depends if Madonna's in the house. <laughs> so, um, 
so yeah it's like she's so funny if you haven't subscribed to her channel go subscribe because she's the sweetest lady and she's just the stuff that comes out of that woman's mouth <laughs> i am so surprised that youtube hasn't censored her <laughs> so oh it's just funny and when she gets into a live she gets everybody roaring you know it's just oh she's so funny um I'm going to give out, give one shout out. Well, I guess I gave out a few, didn't I? But anyways, I'm going to give out one shout out. Um, this is a fellow Canadian. And it's called Craven Crochet. Last time I looked, she was at 135 subscribers. She may be a little bit higher I'm, now. I'm not sure. I'm hoping so. Um, go check her out and hit subscribe and like and do all the things don't forget the notification bell and watch her video front front to back start to finish <laughs> okay uh and then she will get credit for having a new subscriber i just got a package from amazon i was waiting for these Um, now I thought the one that I, I ordered, sorry for the crinkling, I thought the one I ordered was all black, whites, and browns, but they sent me pink. And I think these are, these are keychains. Oh man, it didn't say that when I ordered them. Um, They're keychains. And they're attached to the pom pom. So there isn't even a, like the little rubber bandy thing. Oh man. I'm going to have to figure out something. I might be able to fix that. Yeah, I might be able to fix it. Anyways, the reason why I bought these, I got two black ones. That's it. Oh. You know, you have to be careful sometimes when you order off of Amazon. But sometimes you don't get what you ordered. Anyways, the reason why I ordered these is because I wanted the black. And this is why. I had this set up on my mannequin. I'll get to this in a minute. Uh, on my mannequin yesterday and I had people asking me I thought you were going to talk about the scarf and hat set okay I'll do it now let's put these away this scarf was made um, out of and I didn't bring it oh the Tinseltown uh, ribbon yarn <laughs> that I had showed the other day. And this is the chronically crocheting um, scarf. Okay. So, oh, there we go. See that? The sparkle. Okay. So this is the scarf. And what I did, what, what she does in her video is she takes the ribbon scarf and she puts it down in her fringe. But like I was saying when I, I showed you one of my other scarves before, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, was that uh, I didn't want to do that because I was so afraid that whoever's wearing this was going to catch it on something and then rip the whole thing right so i just put a yarn fringe on mine oh now my battery's gonna die <sighs> be right back three hours later um hello bella what are you doing you're in my chair. <laughs> you gonna move so I can finish this video? 
Okay, so I went to video the rest of this and my battery died and I went to go get the other battery and that wasn't charged either. So I had to go and charge the battery. <laughs> so I finished the video. So a bit of time has lapsed and I'm not even sure where I was at. I think I was talking about the scarf. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Um, yeah, chronically crochets. Uh, chronically crocheting gosh keep getting that wrong this is her pattern I will leave that link down below uh, I decided to do a hat with it and I put the um, scarf yarn or the ribbon yarn around the edge of the hat and then I've been waiting for the pom-poms so I could put a black pom-pom on the hat. Because <laughs> if you look, the ribbon yarn has black in it. So I was waiting for that. So now I can finish the hat and it will be all ready for the craft fair. This cowl, if I can do this without taking off her head, I haven't finished it. I still have to put the tassels on it. Or the fringe, I should say. Oop. You see all the colors in there. Okay, this is Ice Rainbow. Um, can you see that? rainbow. I love this rainbow yarn. I really do. I've made a lot of these cowls with this yarn. I use two balls at the same time and it turns out really nice. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just right. So and this has got, oh, I just love this purple look. So I still have to put the fringe on it, but uh, yeah. Okay, now I went to the dollar store and I I went in there to see if they, at the Dollar Tree, to see if they had any yarn. Our Dollar Trees and Dollar Stores suck. They don't have yarns like like you guys do. But I did find these. They're um, little note cards. It says thank you. So they had six packs and I grabbed them all. Regular price on these, they're from Hallmark. The regular regular price on these is $3.89. And I got them for like a buck 25 or something. Craziness. So I grabbed a whole bunch of these because I'm always looking for cards to send in my gifts. Uh, or my, um, you know, just the giveaways and all that kind of stuff. Something else I found. I, you know what? I really don't like, um this kind of yarn. I really don't, but like the eyelash yarn, like this kind of eyelash yarn, I don't like this kind of yarn. I never work with it, but the color is what really got me because I use impeccables um, and this colorway is fall leaves. And I thought that this would look really good with this. It's a little bit different, but it's very, it's close. And I thought it would look really cute, possibly making a hat with this and then putting this 
in like a couple, you know, a couple rows or whatever. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't know because the colors are quite different. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. See what I can come up with. <clears throat> you know, my cat has really taken to coming into this room. She never really came in here before. But now she's just, she's loving this room. Interesting. Yesterday, she came in here and <clears throat> the look on her face was insane. Um, I don't know if I had a spirit in here visiting or what, but she was, well, here's a clip. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Say happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. So anyway, uh, so she's been coming in here now and sitting in my chair and, and you know, taking over. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so I went to Michael's. Okay, get out of here, dog. I went to Michael's. Ah, I just happened to see this. There was only one left, so of course I had to grab it. Um, this is the latte cake. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, just love these two colors together. And it is called Velvet Teal. Isn't that pretty? So lush. So I grabbed that one. Then, of course, I had to get the roasted tomato. Not pretty. You know, when they came out with this, I was like, oh wow, like I was hoping it was gonna be more red. It's more of a pink than it is a red, and that's kind of disappointing. But I'll take any latte cake, really. So yeah. Uh okay, what else did I get here? I got, I, you know, food for thought. If you got my Scooty pattern, Blush Alpaca, uh, this is Loops and Threads, and I used a lot of this when I was making my uh, Scooty. Food for thought. Get it when it's on sale though. Okay. This is Lush Alpaca. And it's Poi Bowl. Oh, just love this. Love it, love it. I've got, I don't have a, a lot. I used to have a lot. I've got some green and some, like, lots of stuff now. Um, but this is, like, a really good, uh, a really good product for the Scooty because you don't have to use two balls, like, or two, um, two strands at the same time. You can just use the one. So you probably will need three. I would get four just in case. Depends on what hook you're using and the gauge um, that you're doing. So uh, I got those. And I got one of these. This is the Impeccable and it's Green Lagoon. Ugh, I love this color. Ugh, it's so pretty. I don't know why I just got one ball, but I did. And then I got some landscapes. I love this color. This is blue. <laughs> well, that's funny. This is called Green Lagoon. This is called Blue Lagoon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's just, oh, lusciousness. It's 
it's really kind of hard to see in this light, but it's like dragonfly colors. It's really pretty. And I also got this one in landscapes. This one is coral reef. Oh, look at that. That would be Tia. Hold that thought. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. That was my kiddo. She's just kind of giving me an update on how it's going at school and stuff. Uh, I'm never going to get this video done, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, what else did I get? I got some of this huga, 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 huga fur. I've never gotten this, and because um, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, right? Cause, um, yeah, because it's it's like a, a mini eyelash yarn, but. I started thinking about it and I thought, well, what if I paired it up with um, another yarn and then made a hat and a cowl and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's going to be really nice. So that's the Huga yarn. Isn't that color gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. I love, love, love this color. And then here's the, oh, the that colorway is called peacock that's fitting this one is sangria oh sangria the drink sangria my favorite my favorite all-time all-time favorite and then the other one is a Shirley Temple with a little girl inside <laughs> look at the color oh love it love it and this stuff is so soft, so soft. It's not like eyelash yarn. It's, it's, it looks like eyelash yarn, but it's not. It's so soft. Um, and this color is dusty lilac. Oops. It's coming out of the thing here. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I think that this is going to make a really nice cowl and hat set. Mm, yeah. Okay, and last but not least, I got some black super saver. Yeah, no big deal. It's just black super saver. So there you have it. It's all of my stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got <laughs> with all my interruptions and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me and um, we'll see what I got for you tomorrow. Yeah, gosh, December's coming really fast and I'm probably going to be doing, well, I, I was thinking about doing the, the Vlogmas. But now that I'm having surgery, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm going to be off my feet like for a long time and I'm not sure what I'm going to have for you guys. I will get a lot of crocheting done. <laughs> so, oh, my phone's dinging. So I guess I better go. So thanks for joining me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.